Well, we made it to the Lemon Keys and continue our exploration of the San Blas Islands. Swimming to the little island. Following our little... Well, we're not swimming. Yeah, we're gonna... We're they're swimming, we're gonna shadow them. Down. And they are swimming. Chariot. Yeah. Carry me. Captain, to explain what's happening here. Yeah, <laughs> so yesterday we snapped a uh, throttle cable. So One of the engines. a guy from a, another boat and I came devised a plan, and I'll show it to you, to manually throttle the engine. So I can put the engine into gear, forward and reverse, because both cables are attached to the throttle handle. But the throttle itself cable snapped. So I can put it into gear, which we did, it might be kind of loud. Hold up. We just did that with the autopilot. We're like 20 degrees off course for no reason. All right, well, sorry about that interruption. That's another issue to take care of is the autopilot decides it has a mind of its own and just wants to go in a totally different direction in any given moment. So it's just something to pay attention to. But as far as our engine goes, we devised this string that basically goes from this pulley, and it's gonna get really loud back here, back to the engine, and then directly to the throttle itself. So if you pull on this string while it's in gear, you can throttle up, and then you just release the string and it throttles back down. So it's the manual way of doing things until we can get a new cable. That's our temporary fix for now. There's a handful of other projects that, that need to get done as we are still learning the boat and breaking things and fixing things and replacing things, but we're on our way back to uh, back to Cologne now to get that cable fixed for one before we um, make our next move. And as usual, I'm gonna interview Captain yeah. If we're coming back to... Coming back to Shelter Bay Marina at the uh, Caribbean side of the canal. And there's a gazillion ships been going in every which direction. The wind, waves, and current against us. Feels a little rocky. So it's going to be exciting, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Especially with it's always engine. stressful trying to cut through this, this channel of these the ships, as far as the eye can see, it's, it's really quite amazing. And then one engine doesn't help, does it? Yeah. <laughs> we still have one engine tied to a string, so... 
The ducking's going to be gonna fun. Be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Well, as we make our way back to Shelter Bay Marina from the San Blas Islands, we develop a laundry list of things that need to be fixed, updated, repaired, replaced, because learning a new boat, you just break stuff. It's good to be in a place where the kids can play with other kids, knock out schoolwork, play music, and even a little bit of ballet lessons are involved. We also take some time to kick back and say goodbye to a couple friends that are headed through the Panama Canal and off to the Pacific. As the boys remain at the marina to try and get things sorted out, the girls head off to Fort San Lorenzo. Located at the mouth of the Chagres River and discovered in 1502 by Columbus while on his fourth voyage, the Spanish used this route up the river to move gold from the Pacific side back to the Caribbean. As the pirates began to attack, the Spanish built a fort completed in 1601. In 1670, Henry Morgan attacked, left the fort in ruins, and used it as a base of operations for his attack on Panama City. The fort was later rebuilt, and this is how it remains today. So, should we talk about it? Why it's just two of us? Well, we just decided that we wanted to have something fun and not to sit in the marina, and boys are aggravated with the dinghy motor, still trying to fix it. So we're excited about checking out what is San Lorenzo. as we continue to explore Panama and get more boat work done. Hit the like and subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you know every time we post on Sailing Out Terra. Thank you for watching.